carboxylic acids. Our first topic in carboxylic acids is the acidity of the carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are weak acids. Their acidity is higher than water but lower than inorganic acids. Here you can see the Ka values decreases from the hydrochloric acid which is equal to 1.3 by 10 to the power 6 mole per cubic decimeter to 1.6 by 10 to the power minus 5 moles per cubic decimeter for the acetic acid. And it is even lower for water. It is only 1.8 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 16. Remember, the smaller the K value, the weaker the acid. Carboxylic acids are weak acids. They react with bases to give carboxylate salt and water. Here is the equation of the reaction of the acetic acid with sodium hydroxide to give sodium ethanoate and water. Carboxylic acids are weak acids. But why do they show acidity? To understand the acidity of carboxylic acids, let's look at the acetic acid dissociation in water to ethanoate ion. Notice the reaction is at equilibrium, which means not all acetic acid molecules dissociate into ethanoate ions. This ability to lose a proton of the carboxylic group to give salt, we call it acidity. It's a weak acid because like we explained earlier, the Ka value is low. Yet carboxylic acids are stronger acids than alcohols. They lose the hydrogen of the carboxylic group easily compared to alcohols. The reason behind the stronger acidity of carboxylic compounds compared to alcohols is in the presence of the carbonyl group that weakens the OH bond and makes it easier to lose a proton. To understand more, let's look at the dissociation constant Ka and the pKa values of the acetic acid and compare it with the corresponding alcohol which is ethanol. Remember, pKa equal to minus log Ka. Ka for acetic acid is equal to 1.6 by 10 to minus 5 moles per cubic decimeter and the pKa is equal to 4.8. Ka for ethanol is equal to 1.3 by 10 to minus 16 moles per cubic decimeter and the pKa is equal to 15.9. Again, the lower the Ka value, the weaker the acid. Ethanol has a lower Ka value comparing to acetic acid, which makes it weaker acid. Notice. Electrons are drawn away from the OH bond towards the carbonyl C double bond O, which weakens the OH bond and make it easier to lose a proton. Another thing that makes the carboxylic compound the stronger acids is the ability to stabilize the carboxylate ion. The delocalization of the negative charge over the COO group makes the carboxylic ion more stable and less likely to bind to the hydrogen forming back the acid molecules. But can we increase the acidity of carboxylic compounds? Replacing the hydrogens of the methyl groups with electron withdrawing groups such as chlorine increases the acidity of the carboxylic compounds. The electron withdrawing groups further withdraw the electrons from the OH bond, which makes it weaker. Also, the electron withdrawing groups further exited the negative charge over the whole ion, which stabilizes the ion. Here is the Ka value of the acetic acid, comparing to monosubstituted, diasubstituted, and triasubstituted acetic acids. Notice, moving from the acetic acid, 
which is the isanoic acid, the Ke value is only equal to 1.7 by 10 to minus 5 moles per cubic decimeter. This value increases for the monosubstituted chloroethanoic acid to 1.3 by 10 to minus 3 moles per cubic decimeter. Further substitution to the hydrogens of the methyl group increases the value of the dichloroethanoic acid from 5 by 10 to minus 2 to reach 2.3 by 10 to minus 1 for the triethanoic acid. The stronger the electron withdrawing group, the higher the acidity of the carboxylic acids. For example, fluoroethanoic acid is more acidic than chloroethanoic acid. Increasing the electronegativity makes the halogen withdrawing ability to electrons increases, resulting in the increase in the acidity of the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid substituted with fullerene is more acidic than substituted with chlorine, which is even more acidic than bromine or iodine. Here is the order of increasing the acidity substituted carboxylic compounds. Increasing the number of the withdrawing groups increases the acidity of the carboxylic acid, like we said before because it weakens the OH bond, which makes it easier to lose a proton and increases the stability of the formed carboxylate ions. That is why we see an increase in the Ke values. In contrast, replacing the hydrogens of the methyl group of the ethanoic acid with an electron donating groups decreases the acidity of the carboxylic acids. Let's compare the Ke values of the ethanoic acid with propanoic acid and the chloroethanoic acid. Chloroethanoic acid has electron withdrawing group, which makes it more acidic than the ethanoic acid. Now notice, propanoic acid has even smaller value because of the presence of the electron donating methyl group.